one today I gonna read the story about the blind black carabao. The blind black carabao. Once upon a time, there was a blind black carabao who lived in a rice field. His friends were a healthy cat, a rich dog, and a selfish goat. One day, the blind black carabao found a sack of rice. He had an idea of saving it. He then asked his friends, Who will help me pick the sack? Not me, for the healthy cat. Oh no, not me, barked the rich dog. Not even me, shouted the selfish goat. Then I will, said the blind black carabao. So he carried the sack of rice by himself. When the storm came to their place, the blind black carabao asked his friends, Who will help me carry the sack? Nobody answered him. A healthy cat returned to her chair, a rich dog hid in his house, and the selfish goat ran in a distant dish place. Then I will, said the blind black carabao, so he carried the sack by himself. When the storm ends, all of them were very hungry. The tired blind black carabao called and asked his friends again, Who will help me eat the rice? I will, for the healthy cat. I will, Bark the witch dog. I will, shouted the selfish dog. No, said the blind black carabao. I will. Then he began to eat the rice. His friends were swallowing their saliva while looking at him eating the rice. He felt pity so he shared his food with them. Thank you, Carabao. Even though you are blind, you are so hardworking and generous, said his friends. Without you, we will all die with hunger, barked the rich dog. That is why you are the favorite animal of the Filipinos, shouted the selfish goat. Next time, let us help Carabao to find some food in order for us to live. For the healthy cat. I know you can also do it. So let us help one another, said the carabao. Next week, a healthy cat found some fruit seeds. They all volunteered to plant. When they fast, fast, they happily harvest and shared the bounties of their harvest. The end. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ngayon, isa na namang kwento ang babasahin ko sa inyo na may pamagat na Leon at Daga. Tara na, simulan na natin ang kwento. Isang daga ang nakatuwa ang maglaro sa isang natutulog na leon. Inakyat na niya ang likuran ng leon at nagpapadoos-dos pababa. Nagising ang leon nang hindi namalayan ng daga dahil sa pagkalibang nito sa paglalaro. Hinuli ng leon ang daga bit sa buntot na kumang isusubo. Takot! Nagtakot ang daga! Paamanhin! Di ko po sinasakya! Kambalayan ang iyong pagtulog. Pagmamakaawa ng daga. Naawa ang leon at pinakawalan ang daga. Huwag mo na muling kambalain ang pagtulog ko. Paalala ng leon. Salamat kay Bigang Leon. Balang araw ay makakaganti din ako sa kabutihan mo. Pangako ng daga. Paglipas ng maraming araw habang namamasyal, ang daga sa kagubatan ay may napansin siyang lambat na nakabitin sa isang puno. 
Lumapit siya upang usisain ang laman ng lambat. Nakita niya ang leon, ang siyam na bitag doon. Dali-daling inakyat ang daga ang puno at ninapingat ang nubig na tapatali sa lambat. Bumagsak ang lambat at ang leon nang maputol ang nubig. Maliksing bumaba ang daga mula sa puno at tinulungan ang leyon na makawala sa lambat. Nagpasalamat ang leyon at sinabing utang niya ang kanyang buhay sa kaibigan. Tunay ang pag-unawa ay humahantong sa totoong pagkakaibigan. Wika ng leyon. Ito po natatapos ang kwento. Maraming salamat! Sorry, it's DJ.